Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video, I would like to talk about the list item component. Okay, let's start. Basically, the list item component is part under the sets, list, and is this component over here. Okay, what it does is that it helps to retrieve a specific item from a list. Okay. And I'm going to use what we have on screen to illustrate a simple application of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, associate this curve to this node over here. Okay, and I'm going to create a uh, equally distributed um, points on it. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, Use the divide curve to achieve that. Okay. Okay. Let's um put a panel to see the result of the points output okay you can see that there's a list of points that's been generated okay and we can use the list item to specify which of these points that you want to select okay and the selection is uh, determined by the index number over here okay that means to say let's say uh, i'm going to put three here okay plug this into the index and this list okay plug to the points uh, output okay and you get uh, this result okay okay you can see that this is the result which is this point over here corresponding to um, is uh, index number three okay you can see three and this is the result so if i were to change this index number let's say i change it to zero i get um the index zero as my uh result over here okay so this is a simple um application of uh, this list item okay and for example what we can do is uh i want to put a sphere on a specific a specific uh, index number along uh, the, the the curve okay so I can put a sphere component and then plug this here and if I were to change the index input the sphere will be correspondingly uh, be placed in the new location okay <coughs> okay we can create more complex um effects using the list item by inputting instead a single number a group of numbers okay and for that, I'm going to use a series component for our illustration. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with series and range, uh, you might want to watch a previous video that I created by clicking on this label over here. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, series of numbers. Okay. And I want to plug this series of number into this uh, index over here. But I also need to ensure that these numbers that are generated do not exceed the index numbers of the list. Okay, and a simple way to do it is to add a divide um, component. Okay. for our uh, count input okay so let's say uh, my step okay let's set the step to two and the count will be indicated by 
uh, these are uh, divide curve the count okay uh, divide by the the steps okay divide by the steps and there will be a result over here okay okay there will be a result over here and okay let's uh, round this result to a whole number by putting an integer no okay so that are round to a whole number okay and then I need to plug this over here okay and you can see over here I have like a, a list of numbers created and these numbers will not uh, exceed the index number on the point list okay by right I should write a more complete um, expression over here which I can do so using the maths uh, evaluate expression but I think I'll leave this um, to a future video demo okay I'm not going to use uh, these are uh, evaluate or expression to write a more uh, complete um, expression okay that I'll leave it to a future video okay so as you can see over here now we have created like a list of uh, numbers we can plug this list of numbers to the index input of the list item instead okay and you can see yep um, what we have created is spheres that are placed on specific index okay as specified by this um, series of numbers generated by by, by this uh, uh, series component over here okay so if I have to change this we are able to control the, the result okay if I change this also be able to control the number of um, uh, spheres that will be generated okay in theory I should do an addition of plus one over here to create this uh, this sphere over here okay but uh, as I mentioned uh, we will leave it to a future video where I will do so using the the evaluate uh, component okay okay with that I come to the end of this uh, demonstration hope that it's been useful see you bye